What's up guys, welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. I hope you guys have been enjoying the series so far, up to this uh, part. So we are getting along with the story quite nicely now. Um, I'm not really sure how far in we are. So I've, I'm getting to the point as well where I'm probably going to start doing a lot of adventuring on my own as well. Uh, a lot of side quests on my own. If you guys do want to see that, please remember to drop a comment below. I do, please, please do drop a comment. Even if it's not related to the game, please do. I'd appreciate hearing from anybody. Um, and anyway, we're going to get straight into the game. I don't want to keep you guys hanging around for too long. Never do. want to give you guys as much content as I can. So I'm at, we're actually going to be picking up kind of where I left off last time. I've not done any, done much exploring since. Um, it's kind of hard to do it in between takes as well. You know, I, I kind of try to do as much as I can here and there in between each video for you guys and uh but yeah you know it's sometimes it can be a bit hard sometimes you know I, I, sometimes yeah, I, when i come to recording these videos and i'm a little bit tired so i don't do much kind of adventuring afterwards unfortunately but i hope you guys are uh, I'll, I'll, i hope you guys are continuing to enjoy these videos and will continue to support the channel as long as i uh, keep uploading So here we go. Yeah, so we're picking up from last time. So I have actually still got my strider as well, which is obviously very helpful. So I like, I like, do like how I wanted to say again now. I like how the uh, the kind of the Nora take over this area, but it is a bit confusing because I'm pretty sure they were saying beforehand that the Nora weren't allowed to venture outside, which is a bit a bit peculiar. But I'll live with it. I'll allow it. <laughs> Does not bother me. Here comes a good old strider. I'm just gonna keep this these here just in case. I'm just kind of, I think I have to take the roads. I don't think I'm gonna try to jump off. I don't want, don't want to interact with any uh, other creatures if I can help it. I want to just, can I get along? So I will try and find like an easier way around if possible. Which doesn't look likely. It does look like I'm going to have to be taking that fun route past the other machine, which I just didn't want to do. Yeah, it needs to be gathering up some, uh, some hills, very much so. Ah, there's a small path down here. Very helpful. Have a little run down here as well. It's kind of empty-ish round here. I don't want to jinx it though. Too early. Last thing I need to be doing. Yes, we'll go into a meridian. Yeah, meridian. <laughs> I'm very good at butchering these names. Oh good god, I've been found as well. So I'm going to try and outrun these guys. If I can help it. Oh, this is interesting. Where am I now? That's, that's quite interesting. I've not seen a place like this before. Okay. So we're the mosey on into this kind of little town, I suppose you could say it is. Kind of neat. Ah, got a good little campsite there as well. We're there. Jump down and grab that real quick. So I've sorry seen as well that like as, as I kind of explore more and as obviously I level up, like more things are starting to become unlocked, which is very handy. Slowly try and make our way through here as well. Because there's more side quests that we can pick up as well as along the way. Um, so let's, we'll, we'll actually pick up this one here, because I probably Once won't come back through. Betrayal. By my own blood! I was meant to go on a machine hunting expedition to the Banuk Wilds, with real hunters! Then the rumors began, new machines and evil miasma, many dead Banuk, and so on and so forth. So my father won't allow me to go. He says there's too much danger for a noble scion. Do you always do what your father tells you? Uh, yes, of course.
What kind of new machines? That's exactly it. My father doesn't even know. He only heard whispers in the Sun Court. And the evil miasma? Who knows what those tent-dwelling savages consider evil? Or a miasma? I just want to hunt! Honestly, why even give me a sword for my 16th year? What's a sword for if not for brandishing? Hunting in the Banuk Wilds. Do you mean Banur? Oh, no. <laughs> That's so far from the sun's light. The expedition would be swallowed up. It's a place they call the Cut. Something of a no-man's land from, uh, the, you know... The war? But now it makes for excellent hunting! There's a pass through the northeastern mountains. Have you ever actually hunted machines? I've had our bearers carry a lance horn for me to shoot at. Um... Its movement was fearfully realistic. I guess I'll have to look into these rumors myself. It's through a treacherous pass in the northeastern mountains. You can't mean to go alone to that sun-forsaken place. I suppose outlanders can do whatever they please. By the sun, if only I wasn't born noble! Yeah, sounds tough. Okay, so that's a bit of a weird kind of looking one. He's a bit of a similar bit of an uptight little guy. <laughs> Doesn't really know what the real pain is. Okay, so we're gonna keep wandering through. So obviously as I'm kind of going through I'm starting to unlock more of this kind of area. Actually another another a uh, campsite here, so I'm gonna pick that one as well. Always good to, as I keep saying. Okay, so I have to actually leave my mount now. So hopefully I can come back with that eventually. But I'm gonna hit this quick save. Been doing this since I was small. I'm sorry for the wait, but all goods entering the city are subject to search. Shadows under the noonday sun. This is outrageous. This ah, is outrageous. Good trader. We're loyal citizens. So what I've, I've noticed with traders as well is a lot of the time is uh, to be able to, to actually trade with them you need a lot of kind of machine hearts, which is quite kind of. Uh, said he'd introduce me to his sister if I visited Meridian. Said she was captain of the vanguard. Yeah, so the hearts are actually quite kind of hard to come by. I've, I've not come by a lot of them. Or oh, I would have better gear and stuff. I've got all the uh, metal shards, but nothing else. Stop right there. In light of the recent attack, no stranger passes into Meridian without submitting to search. Recent attack? What are you talking about? The murder of Captain Ursa and her vanguards, of course. Ambushed by Shadow Karja forces in Redridge Pass. Ursa? You mean Erend's sister is dead? How would you know his name? I know Erend. Summon him. I need to speak to him. Ha! Huh. I doubt that Erend, the new captain of the vanguard, a man in grief, is going to waste his time on a grimy outlander. Aloy, hey, you're alive. I thought you were dead. Make way, make way. All the way to Meridian just to see me? Have you been drinking? Ah, not really. A little. So you're alive. This, uh, we should celebrate. The drinks on me. We need to talk alone, and you need to pull it together. Over there. So you approve? Of course I approve. From now on, she may come and go from this city as she pleases. As you wish, sir. There. Alone as you asked. And what did you want to tell me? A lot has happened since we last spoke. The Proving was attacked by a group of killers. Not many of us survived. We were in the village when we heard explosions up on the mountain. Some of your braves came back, said most of the contestants were dead. I've never heard such a wail of grief as the sound that rose up from your people. How did you survive? How I survived is less important than how I was targeted. Targeted? What do you mean? The killers came for me because of Owen. What are you talking about? That doesn't make sense. I need to find Owen. I need to know what he knows. But he's a friend. No, he's a traitor. 
I don't know who the killers are or what they want, but I do know that Olin is working with them. But, I mean, this... I don't need you to understand, Erend. I just need you to take me to him. He's not here. He went scrounging for scrap and relics days ago. It could be anywhere. Are there any places he frequents, places he returns to? A house, here in Meridian. Okay, then take me there. I need to search it. I guess, as long as I'm there to witness the search. I heard what happened to Ursa. I'm sorry. I know she was special to you. Special to me? <laughs> special to everyone. She always knew what to do. She bossed everyone around. She kept me in line. Now I'm supposed to fill her shoes. And instead, here I am, stumbling around in them. Give yourself some time. You'll find your footing. Not at the rate I've been drinking. And what would your sister have said about that? I know, you're right. I should expect more of myself. She always did. I need to see Olin's place. Now. Okay, okay. Uh, come on. Okay, guys, so that's quite an interesting little bit of information there as well. So as I was obviously said to you guys before, I, I want to just with those bits, I want to just kind of speed run through the, the speech and give you guys all the information. Kind of don't like how like it takes so long for us to stroll through. Like I have to walk so slowly. <laughs> Bit of a pain, really, if you ask me. Hide in his palace. Blood for blood. Vengeance for Ursa. How long will Avad hide in his palace? Year after year, why does he spare those who enslaved and tortured and butchered? Errant, you should want vengeance more than anyone. Your own sister, murdered. And her death, unavenged? One more word, you scorched out slag, and I'll throw you in jail myself! Now get out of here, or I'll give you all a kick in the ass! What did he mean about Ursus murder? Not now. Alright, okay, sounds like we're learning more about it. Mm, it sounds quite suspicious. Be quite an interesting kind of quest, I think. Okay, how are we gonna get in? Oh, that was subtle. Here we are. Try not to break anything. Okay. Other than the door. All of this. For so I presume I have to scan like this. Days to have connections in the Sun King's court. Yes, I am having to use my focus here. I don't think there's much down here that I can see. No. Okay, so I think I think I can go upstairs, can I? Yeah. Examine the rug. Oh, I so I'm supposed to have actually gone here. Examine this. See what's underneath. Hey, how did that get here? Question is, how to get through it? Without a key, you won't. That's a vault hatch of Azaram make. Nothing gets through. We'll see about that. Okay. So I presume, I presume I kind of need to search the rest of this, this house to find a way through, I guess. I'm not quite sure. Let's uh, head upstairs. Okay. Interesting. Yes, I'm just wondering if it looks like a picture of Owen's family. Now, I kind of feel like I'm heading kind of in the wrong direction here. I shouldn't be going up. Interesting. Ah. A lot of metal here. 
be just what I need. Looks big and heavy. Let's give it a little push. I did say not to break anything, didn't I? Well, that was pretty awesome. I knew I was heading in the right direction. Shouldn't have done that, though. That was a bit of a stupid move from me. Okay. So I need to investigate this now. and child captive they who's they the killers they told him to obey or they'd kill his family okay so interesting so I presume we have there's more to investigate what was it apart from that, that I've just found ah oh, there we go Journal. Looks Interesting. Like Olin kept a journal. Olin? I knew he could read contracts, but I never took him for a poet. No doubt now. Olin knew I was targeted. Interesting. So I wonder if we, we... Oh, we need to investigate more. Oh. Nice and easy map. <laughs> a map. The glyphs show places he visited. There's your proof. Read the last page. He writes about meeting me and the order to kill me. He called himself a friend. That backstabbing cheat. How did you learn to read glyphs? And these things that you see, how do you do it? The focus. It reveals the unseen. And Olin's focus is the same? The device is the same, but... Somehow, Olin and the killers can speak to each other with their focuses over distances and see through each other's focuses, too, like looking through each other's eyes. So that's how the killers saw you, through Olin? Yes, so far as I can tell. Now that I know where to find Olin, I should be on my way. All by yourself? Leave it to me. I'm faster on my own. Wait! If that device lets you see the unseen... Out of the way, Erend. I'm asking you to help me, Aloy. I need to know who killed Ursa. Not just the, the Shadow Karja army, I know that, but the exact soldiers who did it. I'm sorry about your sister, but that's your war, not mine. Don't act like this isn't personal. You came here hunting the people who nearly killed you, who massacred your people. Why should you have justice and not me? Look, I'll head for Red Ridge Pass, where Ursa's body was found, and wait for you there. A few minutes of your focus is all I need. Don't make me beg. Red Ridge Pass, you said. I'll see what I can do. Okay, so it sounds like we've got ourselves like kind of two main quests there. Uh, so there's the Red Ridge Pass. So obviously, I want to kind of stick with the um the missions i'm gonna to try and follow this one because it's it's the same kind of sort of level which is obviously quite handy um obviously kind of sticking to the similar levels that i am is obviously quite helpful to do at this time so we've got a couple of there as well a couple of uh bandit camps to get and uh, so we've completed all the corrupted zones for now as well i'm just gonna have a look see if there's uh, anything i can actually equip on this my bad Unequip that by accident. That was to be in the crafting menu. <laughs> so that would be looks like it'd be quite handy to have. So I can get these better better ones. Um which I do plan to do eventually. Let's do that as well. 
Um, it's interesting because I want to trying to trying to trying to pick the right skills is a bit of a pain as well. I never really know what to get. Oh, I've got a couple of lenses there, which is kind of quite nice. But I need some more, uh, some more hearts. I've got a a heart. I've got a scrapper heart, which at this point in time aren't the probably the most helpful ones. Um, obviously, I need to do need to get certain ones. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to the. Uh, the merchant here. This place. Oh, this guy's got treasure boxes. Oh, that's handy. So obviously different boxes hold certain things. Ah, I can buy stuff back. That that'll be handy if I can. Now see I can't buy back hearts, which is a bit of a pain. Shame really, it'd be very helpful. I'm interested to kind of know. So we can buy ones with random weapons in, which so I might actually I'll buy one of them, kind of see what happens. And we'll buy a shard gambler's one. Um so I'm not really sure what these processed metal blocks do either. I'm actually just going to use these just to buy some of these. I'm going to show you guys kind of like what, what we're going like to get. Thing I've ever smelled before. Is that some kind of spice? So, I will, yeah, so if I show you guys kind of like what we can get and kind of get from these uh, treasure boxes as well. So there you go. So just, just get a weapon coil out of that one. The shard gambler just drops random ones. So Kind of handy. You obviously make some bit more, bit more off. Which me helpful. Obviously, it's all dropping kind of resources that are all helpful to me, or to us. Ah, there's a supply crate here as well. Handy. As I've actually backed myself into a kind of an alleyway. But well, I actually managed to get myself lost here as well, which is uh, never helpful. I'm actually going the wrong way. Okay, it's kind of hard to navigate around this area since I've not been here. I'm not really sure where to go. Just kind of wondering. Oh, what did you want to discuss? You're an outlander, which is good, but a Nora, which might be bad. Do you fear the ruins of the old ones like many in your tribe? No. Although some can be dangerous. Then you may have come across what I seek. In your travels, have you found strange vessels emblazoned with symbols of the old ones? They consist of a hollow cylinder with a crescent handle affixed at both ends. If you bring me these vessels in sets of four, I will gladly trade what I have for them. What sort of ritual were these vessels made for? I'm convinced they were used in conjunction with each other in sets. Some people believe they were used for tea ceremonies. Others think they held sacred essences and oils for worship. But I believe they were used for the solemn custom of shaving one's beard. One for water, one for lotion, and so on. Each fluid in its special vessel majestically applied to the face at each stage of the rite. It must have been... Breathtaking. But which vessel was used for which? I have to know. I have to continue my research. Are you sure people didn't just drink out of them? Drink? Out of such finely crafted earthenware? Don't be ridiculous. So you're interested in the old ones? More than interested. I study every ancient artifact I can get my hands on. But years of study have made me too comfortable at my desk. I can't even bear the sun, if the truth be known. I don't know how I'll manage to take a partner. My family presses me for an heir. Uh, don't look at me. Oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm not looking. 
In fact, my father already has someone he wants me to wed. She doesn't interest me. I wish I had a brother to carry this burden. I would rather be left to my precious little vessels. Yes, yes, trade quickly. I have work to do. Okay, so this is interesting, this kind of guy. That we so we can grab these different vessels. So So as we ah, so it looks like so these these vessels if you guys can see they're literally just mugs. <laughs> which I find is quite quite amusing in in my opinion. I don't know if anybody else kind of thinks that as well. Uh, but I think it's quite funny. So we can actually buy maps here as well. Um so that's kind of kind of cool just to find the different areas. I might actually. So I I'm gonna grab the metal flowers there and uh, okay, it's so advantages. So I feel like that might come in handy as well. I feel like actually all of these might come in handy. So I'm gonna grab one of the one of each. That's just me buying back stuff. So I can always sell stuff to him as well. But I don't need to. So I will Stephen. leave you to the hunt. Be sure to delve into the ruins. What do my tired eyes see? Okay. So it's interesting to talk to these different traders. They've all got something different to offer. By the looks of it. Apart from this guy. <laughs> this guy's the same stuff. So I, yeah, as you guys can see, like there's 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 like if I want some new bows, I, I need hearts. It's a bit of a bit of a pain, really, because uh, obviously I, I need need to get these as kind of as soon as, which so uh, that will be something I have to do kind of in my own time. Um, hearts are quite hard to come by, unfortunately, as well. Um, but I progressively get them. There's a guy there that wants me. I'm, I'm just gonna kind of run out. I need to be chatting to these guys. <laughs> they don't interest me. So I presume we just have to run all the way back out, which is a bit of a pain, really. Ah, oh, so there we go. So, so what I've just bought off of that guy, these are all the different kind of things that he's he's just popped up all over across my map, which is really helpful. So I presume there's different towns that we can buy these kind of things of different people as well, which will be very helpful in the in the long run. Gonna, we're just gonna run back then, kind of get to that save point as well. I'm just kind of taking like this is just some really fantastic scenery. Well, as well, like look at that. That's some well-crafted scenery for a, a game. That's, this, this, this game is like four years old now, I think. Uh, back in 2017, I believe it was released. You know, here in 2021, this is uh, you know. Oh, my bad. Oh, so I can't actually kill anything here. Interesting. So obviously this is another, just another one with uh, same kind of stuff. So I'm just wondering, like, what what it's gonna have. Like, do I do I just take these off this guy? Like, I'm not actually having to pay for them. Interesting. So I forget that you can actually take the kind of the sample ones off of them as well, which is obviously very helpful. I'm just crafting these real quick as well, so I can just have a look to see see what those treasure boxes actually have as well. Oh, interesting. So that so some of them might just have weapons in, which is obviously very helpful. Especially if uh, they're better than mine. So obviously you guys can see obviously like the different types of kind of weapons we got. So I'm just kind of kind of seeing what is good. I, I feel like this might actually be better for me at the minute. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's quite hard to know. I feel like this might be a good one. Might be good. It's, it's hard to really know, kind of at like this stage, like what's what's good and what's what's not. Um, so obviously that's a normal hunter bow. Just 
trying to, you know, this one looks like it's a... Uh, it's a shame we can't kind of compare these weapons, which, is, which would be really neat if we could. So I'm just kind of comparing, looking at that now. I mean, oh, it, it looks better because it's it's been boosted by the, my mods. So I'm actually going to equip that one and uh, craft that so it's, it looks so it's better. Um, there we go. So I think that should uh, help that a bit. Yes, I think I think that helps quite a bit. Um, I think it's kind of with the, with the bows, you kind of just have to experience them as you go along. Ah, still can't hit them. What a pain! I've actually lost my uh, my strider as well now. They're taking it away from me. Oh, what a world. So I'm actually going to end the video there, guys, as well. Um, I, I feel like I've been dragging this out a little bit just to make up the time. Uh, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and will continue to enjoy the videos as they come along. I, I'm going to try and do a bit of exploring as well, try and get myself some better better gear as well. And if, if you guys want to see me doing that, please drop something below, drop a comment. And if not, don't say anything. But please do say, say stuff. <laughs> Until next time, guys, obviously, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And until I see you in the next video, stay safe. I'll see you all real soon.